These Minecraft YouTubers hold nine world records that are impossible to break, but I think otherwise. So starting with Preston's record, I have to beat the fastest time to the bottom of a world at a minute and 33 seconds. The best way to do this is probably getting a pickaxe from a structure. <gasps> Blacksmith, pickaxe, please. Nah, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, can I get tools from these? Nope. <gasps> Room portal, big cave right there. This could be it. Oh my God, leave my face. Oh my god! I am so far down right now. This looks like a good spot to dig down. Come on, I'm literally right here. Yes! That's the lowest point you can go. Now, the next record is actually held by Camman18, which is the fastest time to get cooked cod at 21.5 seconds. The trick here is to find a buried treasure. And if you didn't know, you can actually use the F3 pie chart to locate chests without a map. Something Camman didn't do. If the orange starts to spike, that means there's one nearby. There's something in the area, okay. And they will always spawn in the 9-9 location of a chunk. I think it's over here. Oh, did I just get it? Oh my god, that was so fast. I just checked back the recording. I missed it by like half a second. I just have to be faster. This is definitely a beach. Nothing. Even if I spawn on a beach, I guess it's just not guaranteed. Bro, why do I always get these spawns? Oh, there's something nearby. I'm guessing it's right here. I'm pretty sure it's right here. Yes, there we go. Oh my God. Now, if I'm going to break these records to prove myself as one of the best, I need to step up the difficulty. So how about the fastest time to kill a warden? You see, I came across someone who did this in a minute and three seconds. How? Well, the player known as Falls Diamond actually is a seed where you can spawn in an ancient city. But since you'll have no gear, you need to get up to the dripstone and drop it on the warden using trap doors. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the wood I need to break for the trap doors. But I also need to run back and make sure the streaker is still shrieking. And then from here, a crafting table. Boom. And then this waterfall that just appears, I need to go up it. And now I need 14 dripstone. And when I get his attention, I can start dropping them. Or I can just completely miss the fucker. That works too. Come on, I am one with the route. The route is with me. Bro, these fucking zombies. Oh, and now his pathfinding got all messed up because they dropped down there. Oh, I am so bad at this trapdoor thing. No! I missed it by like two or three seconds. This one is really annoying. I'm one with the routes. The routes is with me. Was that it? As rewarding as that felt, I wanted to move on to the next record, which is the fastest time to get a very underrated mob, a snow golem. The YouTuber Rion managed to get one in one minute and 48 seconds, but this was way harder than it seems. First, I need to actually spawn near snow, which isn't as common as you think. Pumpkins, also very rare. And to top it off, I need some supply of iron to shear the jack-o-lantern. This is quite literally the exact opposite of snow. Ooh, this is the perfect biome. I see pumpkins. Can I see a village? What? Oh my god, this pumpkin's right there. This one is going to be very close. No! Die. Please. No! How much did I just miss that by? Okay, I see pumpkins, but I have zero snow and zero supply of iron. Oh, as can you shell receive? Is there pumpkins anywhere? Oh, uh, okay, that just sells the run. Who added this into Minecraft? Oh, snow. This one might be huge. Tell me the seed isn't too good to be true. Where is he? There you are. Come on. There we go. Yes, there we go. I just barely needed about like 10 seconds. That one was pretty annoying. Now for the next record, I have to get the fastest time to collect a stack of blocks. It's currently held by Dom at 26.49 seconds. And as you can tell, it requires a seed that combines golden pickaxes and netherrack to make it possible. Fuck, I didn't know it was bad. The only problem though, is that Dom did this so fast that I have absolutely no room for air in any of the techniques. Dude! <laughs> How is that even possible? Oh, don't like crafting. F oh my God. Come on, surely this one isn't this hard. Wait, did I just do it? I missed it by 0 0.01, dude. That's crazy.
This one's... Oh, yeah! Boy, I, I got it! I got it! Yo! I beat it by like point, like zero, t like point two. And to follow this up, I decided to take on Parrot's record of the highest dripstone kill. Now, to be honest, I don't really know what to do for this. So I just randomly started joining public servers to see what I can find. Oh, wait, this guy's AFK. I just have to be quick and get a dripstone so I can kill this guy. Oh, I see a cave opening. What is this? <gasps> okay. Time to head to the surface. This guy set a bounty on me! What is this? Uh, hey, where's the guy? Where is he? What? What is that? That wasn't there! Why is he there now? Okay, um, I need this guy to get down. I'll push him in the water. Fuck, that was not the water. Oh no. Oh! Okay, I made it back. That didn't happen. Oh, he's there. Okay, he's been standing Okay, please be AFK for good this time. Parrot's victim was at about ocean level, which is Y64, so I just have to make sure this guy's lower than that. Oh, he's moving! I gotta negotiate with him. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Can I still see him from up here? <laughs> I'm at build limit, I'm at build limit. I'll make this one extra long. Come on! From build limit, the highest dripstone kill! Oh! I- He- he he died, oh my god. We are making massive progress here. And uh, hey, maybe even drop a sub right now, especially if you wanna say you've been here since 200K. Anyways, the next record is the fastest time to trim a full set of armor in the 1.20 snapshot. The fastest run I've seen uploaded with a timer to YouTube is Feinberg's run at six hours, 19 minutes, and 42 seconds. The key thing I need here is the new pattern item which can be found in structures. Oh my god, desert. Deserts are huge because they have the pyramids which contain four chests, AKA four shots at the template. <gasps> There's a pyramid. Please have the trim. Please have the trim. Nope, didn't even have the trim. But I did have enough loot, so maybe I can still play this one out. Another pyramid? Give me it. Oh yes, I got the template! Oh my god. Now two is only enough for half a set, but luckily there's a way to duplicate them. Which does require me to go find diamonds. Oh. Oh! Oh my god, there's a ton. I'm X-Rang or something. Bro, it's like they want me to get this record. It's crazy. Okay, I have everything I need now. Oh wait, how do you duplicate? Oh, that's how you duplicate. Okay, now I got four. Okay, now let me just trim the armor. Boom, trim one. Boom, trim two. Boom, trim three. And that is another world record. And if you're wondering why my time was so much lower than Feinberg's, it's because his run was actually getting every possible trim in the game, but it wasn't until the end of the run when he actually got the first one made. But for now, while going for these records, I accidentally came across one that may never be broken again. You see, on October 9th, 2022, Dom released a video where he got the fastest time to collect a non-chest item at 0.6 seconds. Now, this was seemingly perfected by him and impossible to top. He immediately broke the grass and collected the seeds as fast as he could. But what if I told you there was a way to not only beat it, but obliterate it 60 times faster. You see, there are actually legal mods out there that can load your world just a split second before you join, making it so items can already be broken and on the ground. The f I think I just got- is that world record fast time to get seeds? They just spawn in my inventory. I got an item at 0 0.01 seconds, bro. That has to be a record. I don't know if that's ever gonna be topped. But there's still one more record that I consider to be much cooler than that. In fact, it may be the greatest one I ever attempt. The highest Y level ever reached in survival Minecraft. This is currently held by Metward at 1,054,000 blocks. Now I know what you're thinking. Just fill your inventory with rockets and start flying with an elytra. Well, no. That will only get you about 150k blocks if you time each and every rocket perfectly. And also not to mention, it takes 10 hours to reach Y1 million. So good luck with the elytra durability. So then, how do you do it? Well, he built a lag machine, and this one in particular was able to make rockets last longer as well as durability. I don't really know why, but it's the only way this becomes possible. So great, I'll start on getting the elytra. Never gets old. Then, boom. 
And with that out of the way, it's time to construct the lag machine. And to do so, we need a few minecarts, approximately 5,000 of them. Now for the iron, Metward took the time to build one of the most complex farms in the world. Now this looks extremely annoying and time consuming, so this brings me to why I'm on version 1.18. If I reload my world and place the shulker in a chest and crash my game, we have a magic trick called duplication. Now let me repeat this process a little bit. I have a double chest that looks like an SMP thumbnail, enough iron to build a city, and I have enchanted golden apples in my food source. I think I'm more than ready to start the lag machine. Now. Essentially, the trick is to cram as many minecarts as possible to drive this chunk's entity count all the way up. The more there are, the more the server lags. So for the next hour or so, I sat here to craft the minecarts and place them one by one. 5,000 minecarts on my screen right now. Game is lagging like crazy. Let me see how long a rocket lasts for now. Oh my god. Oh my god, this rocket just lasted me a thousand blocks. More? Bro, is this an infinite rocket? What is this? Oh, okay. It, it's, it went, it went 3,400 blocks. I guess that means I can go for it now. And since this would take me about 10 hours to reach, I only have time for about one shot at this. So, if the rockets fail me, it's GG's. Here goes nothing. Wait. Yes! Oh! Yes, there we go. Oh! Point zero one seconds, bro. That has to be a record. 600,000? 700,000? 800? 900? 1 million! I... I did it? Like, what?